Hi, it's Mark Homan from Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. It's day 24 of our Be Creative Challenge. And a number of you have asked me, so Mark, how come you're not using a macro lens? Well, I busted out the macro lens today. What is a macro lens? A macro lens is a close-up lens, a lens made for getting really close to subjects. So with my macro lens here, I've got the Nikon 105 macro lens on the Nikon Z7. If you've got a Sony, they have a 90 millimeter macro. Canon has a 100 millimeter macro that's gonna be exactly the same. So this lens is made to photograph George Washington's face on the dollar bill or something of that size. So my wife has these beautiful succulent plants and we love them around the house. So I decided to photograph one of those here. Now, we use a macro lens because your regular lens, your 18 to 55 or 24 to 70 lens, focuses at about half a meter away, a foot and a half, two feet away. Your 70 to 200 or 70 to 300 lens focuses about two meters, one and a half meters, so four and a half to six feet away. So that's two arms lengths away. So you saw the images I did yesterday of the close-ups of the camera kit. I was quite a far away. So here we need to get closer to get a smaller image. So I'm photographing in the cactus an area a little bit bigger than the size of a quarter the size of George Washington's face on the dollar bill, and that takes a special lens, a macro lens. I recommend the 100, 105, 90 millimeter macro lens for whatever camera you're using. So I have the 105 here on the Nikon. You can also see I have a device here. This is called a macro slider. So at Paul's Photo, we carry the ProMaster and the Acrotec macro slider. And what this does is it allows me to set the tripod. And when you're doing macro photography, tripod is 99%. So I'm on a tripod 99% of the time. And you'll see why in just a minute. But when I loosen the slider, I can very easily slide the lens in and out to adjust the size. Because you'll find that with macro photography, it's very, 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 very precise. If you're off a quarter of an inch, it's gonna be out of focus. So that's why we use a tripod. So the other thing I can do with the macro slider is I can slide here. And what I'm doing is I'm adjusting the distance from the camera to the cactus. And I'm adjusting focus here. So you can do focus manually or automatically. I use the macro slider to get it just right. I'm in my favorite position here in the house in the dining room with that beautiful window light coming in. I do have a little bit of light on my face so that you can see my face against the backlight, but there's no light here on the cactus. So we're using the whole window light. So once again, aperture priority, ISO 400. But when you do macro photography to get more depth of field, you need to use a very narrow aperture. F-stop 16 is fairly wide open. So right now, I'm gonna start at F16, I'm gonna to go to F22, F32, and F45. My exposures are gonna be up to a second in length. So that's why we need a tripod. And I'm gonna turn on the camera here, the vibration reduction is going to be off. So we need vibration reduction off. And if you have a camera with a menu, and one of the reasons why I love the mirrorless cameras in doing this, yes, my vibration reduction is off, is there's no mirror, there's no bounce. So that vibration of the mirror will cause a problem. I love the mirrorless cameras for this reason. Okay, so here I am, I'm focused. I'm at f-stop 16. And at f-stop 16, I have a very narrow focus, believe it or not, and my exposure is an eighth of a second. I'm going to touch focus where I want on the, on the cactus, and the camera's gonna focus and shoot. And now I'm gonna to touch on a different part of the cactus, let the camera refocus to a different area, and then reshoot. That's at f-stop 16. And now I'm gonna to go to f-22, f-22. Very closed aperture. My exposure's a quarter of a second. Oh my gosh and touching on different parts of the cactus, letting the camera focus, right? F-stop 32, a half of a second. You can hear the length of the exposure is quite long. There's no way I could do this without using a tripod. And finally to F45 with the lens all the way closed. And I think I'm probably gonna like this one the best 
because that's going to give me a good amount of focus here. And you notice I'm taking half a dozen different pictures, focusing on different parts of the image. Come on, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. So I hit the button so that it wanted to change focus. So I'm just taking a couple of different pictures. So if you have a macro lens, I want you to try it. If you don't have one, you can come down to Pulse Photo and get one. If you don't have one or don't have access to get one, try shooting with your lens at the closest position. So your 18 to 55 lens, zoom all the way into 55, you'll be about a foot and a half away. With your 70 to 200 or 70 to 300 lens, go all the way into 200 or 300, you'll be five or six feet away. Let's get some good close-ups. Close-ups in your living room, in your dining room, in your garden. We're gonna have some fun with this. We're gonna make some great pictures. We're gonna share them and we're gonna share them at hashtag Pulse Photo, hashtag Creative Photo Academy, and hashtag we're all together. Because ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends, we're all in this together. And we proved today how powerful the community is and how important it is for us to band together and work through this to be creative and to share and to have some fun. So that even though we're sheltering in place, we're isolated, we're still together as a community. And that's the most important thing is to be community, to be family, to share, and to be together. Thanks a lot for Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy and the lab at Paul's Photo. I can't wait to see your pictures and let's get out the macro lens and have some fun.